Hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Today we'll be tying a little emerger pattern. Great little uh, mayfly emerger. I love this little pattern. Um, kind of easy to tie, but there's a couple of things you got to just make sure you do. But let's get her going. So, in the vise today we have a Hens BL550 clink hammer hook. Love this clink hammer hook for emergers. I'm going to be using some black Zemperfly Nano Silk in a 12 watt. I'll be using some Hens oh, uh, Mayfly body. It looks like that. It just comes in. A, it's uh, artificial. It's just uh, rubberized. And then I will be using some Hens CDC in a kind of an olivey green brown. And I'll be using the Hens hard dubbing in. I'll uh, use number eleven. This green one right here. This one. Okay, let's get her going. So, wax your thread, get her started. No, I'm working with a magnifying glass today because I'm a blind old bastard. So, just uh, start my thread, come all the way down to about there, nip off my waist. Come down around this corner a bit. I'm not worried about that little piece of tag. Come down this corner. Try to watch that hook tip. Even with this nano silk, it, it, it can fray. So I'm just going to come up just a little bit. Then I'm going to get a piece of that. Uh, sorry for my hand. piece of that uh, hen's mayfly body. And I'm going to put it with the sticky side up okay sticky side up just get it caught in there I'm gonna come back just a little further I did create just hold on, I'm gonna put my hook back where it's supposed to be um, I created a bit of a, a point there but it doesn't really matter so now I'm just gonna come back like I said sticky side up come back just a bit and then I'm gonna cover that nice and tight and I'm going to actually flatten my thread a bit because <clears throat> I want that to be as flat as I can. I don't want to have a, a too much of a bump back there if I can help it. I mean, you can bring this stuff all the way up and like you do with nor normally with materials and, and that way you've got a nice soft, like a consistent body, but it's not that thick. So now I'm going to go up to about there, come back. And the reason I stopped there is because I want to have a bit of a room for my, there's going to be a thorax up there. So now, take my mayfly body and I'm going to tie away from me. And this stuff can break, so you've got to be gentle. Um, I have broken it in the past, so that first turn is always the critical one. Once you get that first turn in, it's usually not bad. But now, so I just want to barely overlap. I am overlapping. But I don't want to get rid of all that dark. I want that, right? I go get one more. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm going to get in there and tie that off. A couple in front, a couple behind. Put that on my side because that's easily enough for a second one. Usually I get two per per piece. So now I'm just going to build up just a little bit right there and go right over top of that last little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take two of those olivey brown CDC feathers stacked on top of each other. Line up the tips and try to get the try to get them going in the same direction and then I'm going to tie it in so they're facing backwards about maybe the thorax distance past the hook so about there tie that down come forward stopping short of the eye lift that up those butts cut those off okay keep that because there's good good CDC fibers on there to uh for dubbing and stuff okay so now I'm going to come back again to where I tied that CDC in 
and I'm going to take some of that hard dubbing. We got some out here. Really like this hard dubbing. It's a mixture of I think it's three different uh, materials. I think it's rabbit, squirrel, and hamster. I think, but uh, it uh, I like it because it's it dubs easy. It's spiky. Gives you that really nice spiky look that you want for these emergers and for other flies. So I'm just going to create a bit of a head more of a space there. Now I'm gonna take both of these, and don't worry if some of this stuff sits back, it actually makes it look better. It, uh, the uh, create uh, kind of that, that wild look. Now I'm gonna bunch it up a bit like that, and hold it, and loose wrap, till I get that CDC tied down. Now that's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna pull that back a bit, okay. There we go. So I put a second turn. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to loosen my vise, turn my hook up a bit, so it's more of a flat there. A couple more turns. Take that CDC, push it back. A couple turns, push it back forward again. Another turn, and then I'm going to do a whip finish right there. Nice and tight. And then I'll put this back down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And that's that's the finished fly. Like I said, it's it's real rough looking, uh, but it is it's an awesome fly. Um, you can, if you want to, take a couple of these up on the top here and just don't yeah, I don't get them like that, but leave these ones out the back. Some of the ones that are out the top, that's fine. You can take those off. But when this sits in the water, this will sit in the water kind of like, like that as an emerger. Actually, I'll move my camera so you guys can see that. But like that, that's what it'll sit like in the, uh, in the water, right in that, that top surface film, right in that tension. That's how it'll sit. And uh, it does, it drives the fish nuts. Now you could, if you really wanted to, you could take a little bit of Velcro and just give, give some of that hard dubbing just a very light, light pull out, just to give it even more of a scruffy look. But that's about it. So yeah, great little Mayfly merger. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider doing so. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Tie lines.